it is not only adults and world leaders who have something to say about President Obama. Children around the world are welcoming him and weighing in with their reactions and their advice. Our Jim Shudo has been sampling kids' reaction from around the world. Peace, democracy, and friendship. Freedom and hope. He's interested in giving peace to the world and stopping wars. From the Far East to the Middle East. You place a lot of hope in him? Yes, I do. From his childhood school in Indonesia. It's amazing. He's going to change the world and make world peace. To his father's home in Kenya. He's prestigious, peaceful, and he wants to change America. We heard children around the world expressing hope and fascination with the new American president. No one's better than anyone. We're all the same. We shouldn't discriminate anyone. No matter where they're from or how young they are, children here all have something to say about Barack Obama. And some advice to give. In Israel and Gaza, it's hope he'll bring lasting peace. We hope he will be fair to the Palestinian people, he said, and prevent Israel from attacking us. And in Pakistan, hope for an American president with a Muslim father. He can make the citizens of the U.S. recognize that we, not all Muslims are terrorists, and not all terrorists are Muslims. We found children in many countries are aware of his promise to withdraw troops from Iraq. I think that he may stop the war in Iraq, at least I hope he will. And wherever we went, children spoke about how Obama's inauguration renewed their hope in the American dream. This thing shows that America is the land where everybody has the chance to be something important. That familiar campaign theme has gone global. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Jim Shudo, ABC News.